What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. So we are now on, uh, we are still on documentation. So this time we are going to learn how to add and modify tags. Okay, so let's do this. Tags or the tag tool can be found here on our quick access toolbar, which is this one here. You can also type TG as a shortcut. So to tag elements individually, so you select this tool here, tag by category or TG. Or you can also go to the annotate tab. And then you can see here, tag by category. It's on the tag panel. So that's your tag by category. So you have three options to place tag. Okay. So now I'm going to select the tag tool. Alright, and then after that, here on my modify tag options bar, so we have several options here. So we have the placement of our tag if we want that to be uh, horizontal, we want that to be uh, vertical or uh, model. So usually in these two options, I just use a horizontal or vertical. I seldom use the tagging for the model elements. Okay, so let's say if it is horizontal, Okay, so I'm not going to put a leader here. I'll just leave it as it is and check. Okay, so I'm going to put one here on my uh, vertical duct here. So if it is horizontal, no leader. So it looks uh, like this. So I'm going to pick now to place the tag. So there you go. Very simple. As long as you have a loaded tag in your project. Because if you don't have a loaded tag in your project, you will not be able to place your tag and there's a dialog box that will appear that for that particular category of tag you don't have a loaded tag so there's a dialog box that will appear telling you this one but since we have a tag loaded for our uh, duct as you can see it now automatically plays on our duct so how to check if you have a loaded tag so to do that you just click the tags here okay or if ever you terminate your tag, you just select again your uh, tag tool and then just click the tags here. Okay, so here you can see loaded tags and symbols uh, box. Here you can see all the categories and their corresponding loaded tags. If there's, if there's a loaded symbol, you'll be able to see it here as well. So, for example, currently on our air terminal, we only have how many tags? So, we only have one tag here available. We have a diffuser tag family. If you have your own um, air terminals uh, tag, so you just load that to your project by selecting here the load family. Okay? So, if you load another family here for the air terminals for the tag, you just click the drop down arrow and then you will see that here from the list but currently we only have one so you can also move the slider down to see all the other categories that has a loaded tags like this uh, categories what else uh, lighting fixture mechanical equipment we have their pipes uh, size tags so we have sheets spaces okay and views as well so we have these are the tags that we have uh, uh, loaded in our project okay so let me just cancel this one again um, I'm going to put a tag so this time I'm gonna change that to vertical so let's click the vertical okay so as you can see it looks like this vertical so here vertical uh, here horizontal 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 vertical what's the difference <laughs> is there a difference or oh, this one is vertical okay so this one is horizontal okay so it doesn't seem like there's a difference at all <laughs> so that's for my horizontal and then uh, vertical Mm, I'll just escape again and then select the tags. My tag here, the setting of my tag here automatically aligns with the 
with the duct. Okay, but for the air terminal, as you can see, the placement here is vertical. So the vertical here, uh, it applies to your air terminal. See? So if this one is like a horizontal, so it's like that. So it's horizontal. You can click that actually and then you can still uh, reposition it to tidy up your drawing. So horizontal, so this one is like uh, vertical. So there's a vertical tag. But for your duct, automatically your your tag aligns with the duct. I haven't used the model here to be honest. So let's try this one. Model. So what's that one? Okay, so let me try that in the 3D view. Default 3D view. Okay, and for this one, for the 3D view, I'll go to the properties and then change the discipline here to, uh, let's say, mechanical. Okay, and then I'll select the tag here. Okay, the orientation of the 3D view must be locked before you can add tags or keynotes. So let's lock it. So I'm going to select this one. Lock save orientation and lock the view okay so i'll just put here test 3d okay and then as you can see my uh, line weights here is too thick it shows the line weight so i'm going to select here thin lines to show it uh, nicely there you go and let's try to tag this one so let's click the tag here model so so i can let me just put one here oops sorry so that is what happens you see if you don't have a loaded family in your project like this one i click this you see revit says that there is no loaded tag for ceiling so there's no tag so that's what happens if you don't have a particular tag on the particular category or element that you are selecting okay so i'm going to select this pipe Okay, so how about if I select horizontal? Okay, so horizontal. So for the, oh, I already put that one. Okay, so that one, I can put another one here. One thing I noticed is that when putting a tag using horizontal on the same pipe, oh, I thought I cannot put, that is what i uh, about to say, but you can put another tag on the same element okay this one okay so how about i'll use here vertical okay so again for the air terminals or lighting fixture vertical is appearing like this and then a horizontal is like this model not sure i'm i don't really use model so modify i'll try to orbit my 3d view so i click this lighting fixture uh this one and i'll try to orbit oh so i cannot orbit because if it is, it's already locked and if i'm going to unlock that your tag what will happen if i unlock this one so unlock view oh so it will disappear so that's why it's locked so i'll just undo that one okay so that's how you put your tags individually and also that's how you load a family so just click this one and then just select uh, load the tags there all right another option that we have here is leader so let's select again the leader so we have two options so we have attach end so let's say on this equipment so as you can see the leader is attached already you cannot move freely the leader line right so i'm gonna pick one so that is for the equipment okay and then i'll select here free end so let's see how it looks like so let's put that to another element like this air terminal okay so as you can see it's you can move it freely and then if it is a uh, free end you need to pick three points so one two three okay and then just select here modify okay so another thing that you can do here is 
you can also tag elements, uh, multiple elements at one go. So let's say you want to put tags on all your air terminals. So what you can do is you can go to annotate and then from the tags panel, you can select here tag all. So you can click that and then you can see tag all not tag. And then you just need to select here what is the category that you would like to uh, tag. So let's say the air terminals. So I'll just tag uh, tick the air terminal here and then you have an option if you want to put a leader there or if you don't want to have a leader so let's say I do not want to have a leader orientation is horizontal so I'll just select here OK and that's it so as you can see there's now all the tags for your air terminal so you just need to tidy up your tag so that it's not overlapping other elements okay now if you want to edit your tag so let's say i'm just going to delete one of the tag here you want you do not want or you want to add another elements that you want to show when you tag your duct so what you do is you can click your tag here and then you can edit the family click that and then currently on your duct size tag dot rfa so this is the only uh, information for that tag, only the size. Remember, we are now inside the family editor. So this is the family of the duck size tag. So this is the category. So if you want to add, so you can click label here, click that. And then you can put one here. So before I place the label, I'm going to select modify first. I'm going to select this. So the type or the size of uh, tag is 3 over 32 of an inch okay so i'm going to select uh, create i'll select label and then i'll use the same height and then i'm just going to place it here so the alignment here is middle align and align center so maybe i'll just put one here i can modify that later on and then i can add another option here so let's say i want to add here what i want to add is uh how about mm, size oh that's already a size uh 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 uh, uh family uh, i'll try this one the family name so i want to add the family name double click so it's now there and then i'll select here okay so now for this family of duck size tag that rfa so i now have here uh, size and family name okay so the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to load that into the project and let's see how it looks like so i'm going to override it and there you go so it's now added here so let me just delete this one of course that's not ideal i'm just trying to show you if you want to add more information or you want to less information of your tag so you just need to edit the family so just click the family edit family and then you will be going to the family editor and then i do not want to have the family name so i just select that and delete and then I'll load it back again to the project and then I'll overwrite the existing version. And there you go. Okay, so basically uh, tagging is not that difficult. So that's how you put tags to your elements. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.